Why should you start dancing ballroom dancing? It is type of dancing like a waltz. It is or maybe this polka will be this. Oh no, it is. Sorry, <laughs> why should you do this? Today we're gonna talk about it. And uh, today I was at my university and uh, I was on my culture of celebration event. It is event for people who want to see culture of St. Petersburg in wilds on or on ballroom dancing styles. Yes, on to on December 20th this year 2019 I will I will dance if all will be good if I will be alive and uh, by the way who am I if you are a beginner on this channel I'm Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and today we're gonna practice our English with speaking about ballroom ballroom it is with girls with dresses it is etiquette of uh, like gestures yes uh, please uh, well, you are welcome it is your overcoat uh, you use this hand this hand and also you use some gloves specific like uh, you are maniac and another things and uh, today i was on my first reputation on my first rehearsal of it it was how does it how how was it how was it question for me it was like this way i log to this on 12 10 am it means that uh, it is uh, like uh, on noon of today and uh, we were dancing with our pairs we were we are people uh, it, we are students students of our Hertz and Pedagogical University or people from another university too, from St. Petersburg. And we were gathering in one place called like a hall, what's the name of it? It, it was Green Hall. Green Hall means that it is green or something like this, or it was Blue Hall, I don't remember it, what's name. But we were gathering in a special room with windows here, windows, 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 here, 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 and everywhere are windows and uh, so specific ornamental things like it is five o'clock tea, Britain time, and uh, <laughs> stylistic culture of uh, our walls and it was so interesting and it was like a Victorian ages things it was cool and uh, so old-fashioned and so nice like like a peach peach do you know a fruit and so tasty Mwah, delicious Mwah. and uh, Elsa on this uh, rehearsal we were First, we were we were talking. By the way, I liked one girl. She's name is, uh, but not only one. I liked many women on this because uh, we were uh, maybe seventy people in one room. Ten of them are organizers, like administration, like uh, people who do administrative work. Like uh, it is teacher plus one more. Uh, like a professional doers or maybe a supporters of teacher and it was a good uh, really team crew and uh, 10 people were this and 60 people were participants participants of dancing like who will dance on 20th december and it is only one part of people because uh, tomorrow will be rehearsals of another people day after no and uh, before was also rehearsals. It is so many people. It is so large, so amazing around amount of people around me. And I liked one girl. She's name was Yulia. Yulia wore red hair and uh, with so charismatic, emotionally mimics, and it was so nice. She she's actors and I like actors so much when they are so like a positive and it is so nice I like it I like people with good public speaking skills also and uh, she has one of uh, good uh, public speaking skills and it was nice and uh, I was on this uh, 
event it was not event it, it was like uh, yes for me this event because it was it was first time for me and uh, it, how does it work how was it we were gathering after that we were doing introducing like uh, hello 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 and uh, after that some question of organization next was uh, specific uh, thing we started to w wake up and uh, oh no next we were like a uh, specific games for us games of uh, introducing yourself but it was like a game because we had we had uh, 60 people and to introduce it will be maybe two hours but we did it faster it is uh, please say who has cats and uh, it is game some kind of games uh, introducing games was like a what's your name what's your interest and something like this after that we started to dance we practiced polka we practiced cabrile it is russian thing also we practiced french thing i don't know what it was also one more polka but ireland polka and elsa plus uh, wilds and in total we had practiced uh, six uh, dances and it was nice and i want to say that it was so uh, good and also we were speaking uh, around people i liked uh, elsa girl she's name alisa and nastya two different uh, two girls and also other girls they are beautiful and nice and uh, for me it was oh heartbreaking <laughs> and uh, my heart rate is uh, my heart rate went to this side yes and uh, it was so uh, like uh, oh nice cool you are amazing you are awesome and one girl also said that my voice is so nice and it is my first compliment to me about my voice because nobody said like i has good voice like uh, for uh, public speaking she said like oh you have nice voice public speaking uh, voice it means that your voice is uh, in russia it means that your voice was trained I don't know how do you use something in your country about it, but okay. And also, today's talk about, not about my story. Story was only introducing of my situation. And situation was really interesting about my dancing. But right now you know more about me. It was my second of ballroom dancing experience. First was on my childhood when I was on 11th grade of my school and on that time when I was at school it was uh, on my last uh, last ring celebration in Russia last ring celebration it is uh, last day of school when you, mothers and fathers are crying and uh, you are dancing and crying and uh, your uh, girls are watering so much it is like a fluted uh, everywhere and uh, okay I had second experience of ballroom dancing today and what can you learn and what should you learn why should you learn dancing we have five reasons first you will learn more emotions because it is like a specific emotions of uh, era it is age age of culture age of like hmm, francais and bonjour merci beaucoup uh, i i'm joking but you understand that is specific specific area and specific uh, things have uh, own own emotions and you can uh, like take it and you can give your emotion to this it is like an exchange of emotions and you will have more emotions to yourself from this situation and uh, you will he you will be more emotional in these conditions and also one more thing which you will learn it is uh, you will learn more about etiquette etiquette it is a specific thing it is specific uh, like a moral rules yes it is not like a unique way it is not like a super like a you will be so nice and you <laughs> like this way uh, you will be you will be you will know at least you will know that uh, people can do like this and you will test it 
maybe you did testing before but you will see it on another examples of another people because in our real life we don't have so much like an etiquette of opening door like a gentleman we don't have uh, so much how to how to prepare for dancing how to say gr to girl that uh, hey girl do you want to dance how to do this proposal for girls else uh, if you want to learn more about etiquette it will be for uh, to what's more it was about um, if you want to do overcut yes overcut or helping you with the jacket to for girl what will you use for it and uh, you can use uh, this kind of things and uh, it is all about etiquette but it is all about these rules of uh, society of our community and uh, you can learn it from your own life if you will dance more ballroom dancing because you will learn it and for girls what will you learn about etiquette it is how to how to say yes for men how to do like a Mm, I'm so I'm so like uh, playing with you and I don't know what's uh, verb of it it is teasing teasing how to tease with girl with man but with not like a whore and not like a whore way in a way of really like a woman yes do you understand it I hope that you understand if you are man you maybe not understand but if you are a girl you understand me correctly at all and uh, next thing that you will learn from uh, ballroom dancing it is uh, new movements new movements of your body because if you are dancer of ballroom dancing or something like this if you dance whilst you have more things inside of your mind about movements else uh, it is movements of this type of this all about pair dancing so much so much of pair dancing it, it, ballroom dancing it is not about solo dancing it is yes something will be solo dancing but it is all about communication with one, somebody else it is dance of two people and it is dance not like a hustle it is not like hustle i mean not like a earn money i mean that uh, not like a hustle with bumping and pumping <laughs> i don't know how to dance the hustle but it looks like this and uh, but uh, hustle it is good by the way dancing it is not like a latino it is specific ballroom dancing that you can dance and uh, it will be so helpful for you to do your own things in your own life maybe you will go to to the specific cousin you will go to the restaurant and you will listen music of oh my gosh it is Tchaikovsky or maybe it's just a coach or maybe something else maybe it is Levan Polka oh I can I can come in and inside like this way or I don't know this way I don't know how, how to <laughs> how to log into how to come in inside of uh, rooms with Levan Polka style but uh, you will be maybe more unique yes and the more you learn the higher your uh, the higher your presentation skills the higher your performance in skills it is the third thing that you, what you learn next you will have more confident inside of you and also you will have good posture it will be confidence and posture posture is uh, confidence confidence is posture posture i mean your spine will be like this way you are like a railway thing railway steel and <laughs> you will be really like a person who will have really nice healthy posture and did you know fact that it is researchment you can google it by the way in in Russian at least and uh, we have researchment that uh, people with good posture live life longer longer than somebody else but the most interesting fact that they live it more for 10 years or more do you understand it 10 years do you want to have plus 10 years in your life only about dancing yes you maybe will spend oh i will spend time to this dancing i will spend this 10 years on dancing but okay you will have in your piggy coin uh, box you will have more than and you will have experience of dancing and plus 10 years huh? what do you think about elon musk huh? and uh, what do you think about it my math man 
and uh, okay you you will be really with good posture and good posture it is good breathing it is good lung support it is a good diaphragm it is good like a connection to your this thing it is good chakra if you are so creepy yoga man and uh, if you will learn a good posture you will have more uh, like uh, communication skills because what will you choose look do you want to speak with this man or do you want to speak with this man i can speak like this did you see this what's more confident what's uh, have uh, more confidence i think that uh, example number two next but not at least last but not at least will be you will learn more rhythmic patterns it is one of the interesting thing if you are a musician if you are maybe a person who likes music or maybe you only starting your dancing and uh, you want to improve your rhythmic you want to improve your like uh, how to dance it uh, without without this impulsive things uh, or maybe with this slow move smooth without rhythmic how to dance it uh, you can learn because uh, It is a wild rhythm. It is kind of this, but another the songs have another rhythmic patterns. Yes, did you know about it? And uh, the more you dance ballroom dancing, the higher your rhythmic skills. And you can say, hmm, Igor, I can, I can also learn another dancing, and I will improve my rhythmic skills too. But inside of wilds, we have specific rhythmic. Every song has own specific rhythmic if you only dance latina you will be good latina dancer but if you will will introduce new st new style by, well, like a latina plus wilds and you will be more innovation innovation mind and uh, if you will connect it you will think hmm it is so pity that I didn't uh, be, I didn't practice uh, I, I haven't practiced before this wild because it is so oh I wanted I I I had to and okay and uh, <laughs> you understand me okay let's repeat what did I say about our dancing ballroom first thing first it is you will have good emotions about it next you will learn new movement next you will have more etiquette and i'll say you will have more posture and confidence and last but not least you will have more rhythmic patterns inside of your mind and you will do this not like this way you will do this like this way and you will be a really good person i hope you enjoyed my story about my ballroom dancing if you have your own ballroom dancing did you dance it on your wedding did you dance did you dance it on your maybe last day of school of university of high school or maybe of college did you do this please leave me in the comment section it will be really interesting to know about it about your facts it will be interesting i really read all your comments you will not believe that, but I read every comment on uh, on every video. I didn't ask so, so much, but I will try to do this. Uh, thanks so much for watching. It was really interesting video. I, I, I hope that it is. And uh, it is 18 minutes of speaking about my life. And I'm so proud of me that my English uh, allow is allowing me to speak about this topic without uh, pauses and with good quality please also leave me in the comment section below what do you think about my english what should i improve more and the higher your your like a feedback the more things you will write the higher my level of english will be and you will have more value through my own videos thanks so much for watching see you next time and learn ballroom dancing from now on see you next time